What is going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise, we are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and this time we're going to go and do another shrine and this one is called the Kikakin Shrine in the Great Hyrule Forest. I will show you exactly where it is before I get into the shrine but let me just tell you one thing, this shrine is going to be super popular, I can feel it. It was one of the hardest shrines to do and I only found out when I was editing, so I had to go back and re-record the whole thing because I couldn't. I, I, I thought that there were only two chests and I've collected three, so obviously uh, I, I had more than enough. But when I when I was editing, I found out that it didn't have it didn't have just three. It has five chests in this shrine, and one of them in particular is so well hidden. It took me a very long time to find it. So. If this is the first time you're here, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you are a regular, thank you so much for all your support, your messages, your love. I really, really appreciate it. Right. Shining in the darkness is what we're going to be doing. So we only pick up the torch. You're going to go this way. All of this part was done just recently because uh, I missed all these shrines. So when you get to this area here, as you can see on the wall, it's, it's shining. You need to remove that panel there and that's going to be our first chest hidden behind it. Very sneaky Nintendo. You know, especially because it's unusual for them to put five chests inside of one shrine. So you're not expecting it. So you, you think that you've done all the chests, but you haven't. So when you uh, get ready, uh, after you pick up that chest, you can go, you can keep on going to the right hand side in here. And you're going to see that there's going to be two, two of these blocks with spikes. And there's going to be a chest right at the end. This one I found it straight away. So this is from my old footage. I'm ju I just Frankenstein all the footage in because, uh, um, you know, it, it was much, much easier to do it like that. I just collect whatever I missed. Uh, in here, I almost got uh, squashed by the pit, by the spikes. Keep on going. And this is, was our second chest. So we, we're going to keep on going all the way around. Just keep following the path. There's only one path that you can go. And then on the right hand side in here, there's going to be some more spikes with one block against the wall. Just keep on walking in. And as you can see, some light on the floor. And uh, the light, you can just remove this, uh, this plate in here again. And uh, in here, we're going to find the key to open the door at the beginning, where, uh, where the light of blessing is. Once we get this this one here, we can just come out and the next one is going to be the hardest one. I think this one just took me forever to work it out. And I really thought it was with a big spike wall, but it wasn't. It was right here. So when you get to this area here, just when you see the spikes, you just put your torch down, use your ascent power and then move a little bit to the right and you'll be able to go up and uh, get the get the chest in here the only reason why i found out that this one existed is because there was light shining through the, the roof in this area and i was wondering where where could it come from and that's how i found out about this one because it is really really tough and out of the way i can't believe they they hit it so well and then we're going to keep on going we've got two more spikes on either side uh, just wait for the spikes to go to retract and we're going to go to the big spike wall now with the lasers so if we turn left in here you'll be able to see the lasers straight away in there we will obviously have to avoid the lasers so the spike wall won't come towards you and block the 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 little cube cubie hole that you need to go into to get that chest so avoid all the lasers in here and then the chest is going to be on the left hand side in here and that is our fifth one and final one now what we need to do is go and get the uh, the light of blessing uh, from the initial door because we've already got the key, we've already got everything. But I'm telling you, this one is right up there with one of the hardest shrines, including the Breath of the Wild ones. And, and I'm, I'm sure this one is going to be really, really... Um, uh, busy and really popular because of that tri that uh, chest that is hidden. It is just so hard. Uh, to, to find it. You know, it took me, uh, even after I found out that I was missing a couple of chests, coming in here, it took me 50 minutes to, to get these chests because I just couldn't find them anywhere. Right, I guess this is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, if this video helped you, please give us a like. Consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. I'll be back again with some more Tears of the Kingdom very, very soon. So thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.